ऑनरेबल चेयरपर्सन धन्यवाद एट दिस मोमेंट द ओनली डिफेंस अगेंस्ट चाइना द ओनली पिल फॉर कोविड द ओनली सोल्यूशन फॉर एम्प्लॉयमेंट इज द इकोनॉमी Unfortunately Prime Minister Modi has ignored this as advice this is precisely the reason why India has seen the deepest reduction in GDP minus 23.4% it is the only country in the world where the covid-19 infection curve has not flattened and the reason why prime minister statement on indo china border is similar to the position of the chinese government this is a government whose sole agenda is to protect the image of one man at the cost of our national security our economic future and the health of our children and elderly it is unfortunate that while the parliament is discussing covid the state of economy the indo china border conflict the prime minister chooses to be absent from the parliament he is busy preparing his election speeches for bihar or taking pictures with the peacock whenever rahul gandhi ji has advised the bjp government he was found to be true on on 12 feb he spoke of covid he was right on march he spoke of economic tsunami he was right he pointed to the presence of the chinese in the galwal valley he was right history will remember prime minister modi having wasted his mandate while congress and rahul gandhi ji continue to raise issues of national importance in india right now we've had the strictest lockdown the smallest fiscal stimulus the greatest gdp crash the highest inflation rate the last 11 days have seen a rise of 13 lakh cases in covid india has the most covid deaths in the world between september 1 to 15 at 16307 the 20 lakh crore stimulus package announced by the bjp government is only a diversion to manage the news headlines the pradhan mantri garib kalyan yojana is rupees 1000 per person the jan dhan yojana is rupees 500 per month the migrant labor grain package is 5 kg of grains per month rupees 500 per month rupees 1000 per month 5 kg of grain per month does not even qualify as basic humanitarian relief to a nation that is struggling let alone it being described as a stimulus package the burden on the poor has only increased with the rise in petrol and diesel prices having crossed rupees 75 migrant laborers were unable to pay rent and still find themselves jobless therefore the bjp government should follow the advice of the congress party and rahul gandhi ji and give rupees 7500 to the poorest of the poor families I'm afraid that today also the finance minister will only shift accountability to God, global markets, and governments of the past. Honourable finance minister, it is not God who is to blame, but your government's focus on following God say. Even now, the finance ministry is only focused on catchy words like "Atma Nirbhar Bharat," which is only a rehashed version of "Make in India." Meanwhile, the states are increasingly worried. about the rising number of covid cases and the shortage of emergency medical infrastructure like icu beds and ventilators in april 23 it was pointed out that states like up bihar assam and madhya pradesh face grave shortages of isolation beds ventilators and icu beds yet after 5 months the situation has not changed the ministry of health in assam says that covid 19 cases is going out of control there's a shortage of icu beds who will answer the families who have to run from hospital to hospital searching for icu beds and ventilators the state the center the health ministry or the finance ministry have the diyas the thalis and the talis help the 84000 families who have lost a loved one instead of helping the states at the time of need the finance ministry is shifting additional burden of the revenue shortfall in gst on to the states honorable finance minister you simply cannot abdicate your legal and moral responsibility to the states instead of asking the states to borrow the central government should relax the norms under frbm and borrow from the global market and take international assistance from imf world bank and adb the finance minister must reconsider her options because what is at stake are the salaries of thousands of state government employees of teachers of medical staff the funds for rural roads and hospitals the money needed for scholarships of st and sc students you are unable to compensate the states but are instead you have the money to spend rupees 20000 crore on an extravagant central vista project you want to add to the financial burden of the states but you reduce the tax rate for your corporate friends and reduce their financial burden what is the revenue loss to the center after the reduction in corporate tax rate what is the subsequent private sector investment after the reduction in corporate tax rate do you have the data with you this bill completely misses the needs of states especially my home state of assam people of my state have rejected the over dependence on privatization the sale of the lokpriya gopinath bordolo airport of our oil fields and the proposed sale of the hindustan paper mills in kachar and nagaon 
Students want a research fund in universities. Students want a second Sainik school in Gulaghat. Our state wants union ministers who give attention to our problems. The Jal Shakti minister did not even visit the state during floods. He was busy trying to pull down the government in Rajasthan. The road transport minister, Nitin Gadkari, inaugurated two bridges over Brahmaputra for which the DPR have not been prepared. The oil fields in Bag Bagjan are still on fire. I'm concluding, honorable chairperson. For all the reasons I've cited in my speech, I regret to reach my conclusion, honorable finance minister. While I hold you in high personal esteem, I submit my demand to the chair of the Union Finance Minister of India. I request you to step aside for the sake of unemployed youth, for the sake of starving laborers, for the sake of distressed farmers, please step aside. Not that I recommend another person from the union cabinet. The cabinet simply lacks the necessary talent. But the responsibility of putting India back on the economic growth track cannot be yours alone. It needs to be a collective effort. I propose the creation, one minute, I'm concluding. I propose the creation of an emergency economic and finance recovery council, similar to the GST council, a council of state finance ministers with past union finance ministers as members, ministers such as Yashwan Singh and P. Chidamran, to be steered by the person who led India out of the 2008-2009 global financial crisis, the former prime minister. One, Two sentences. The former Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, I appeal to Prime Minister Modi, the gospel of one man, one savior has completely failed. Time has come to rise above the image and think about the nation. We need a bold effort through collective effort, through consensus and dialogue. That is the Indian way. That last sentence, that is how we protect our youth from frustration. That is how we protect our small business owners, owners from depression. That is how we protect our farmers and laborers from suicides. And most importantly, that is how we protect the future of our children. Thank you. Jai Hind.